smallest amount of points this season. This is a big. And it's Washington. Gash down south here to the San Diego State. Chase Jasmine in the backfield. Looking to throw. Agnew flushed out of the pocket. Looking downfield. And it's incomplete. Wolf pack 38% this year on third down. They are not going to convert here. First sack of the night as Strong is dropped. Cameron Thomas on a TE here with essentially a push to the left and he comes around to the right here. Watch him come all the way around and get to the quarterback first. Doesn't quite hold on but lets the cavalry. Well, it was more precautionary. The bye couldn't have come at a better time for him and his health. They'll stay out there here on second down and six. Washington is going to be twisted down in the backfield this time. There he makes the big stop with Sam Hammond. Third down. Agnew stays clean in the pocket. That ball is deflected and caught by San Diego State's Juwan Washington. With year starter, 266 career tackles coming into the night. Pretty good in pass defense, too. Second punt already for Brandon Heichlin, the senior who's having a very good year kicking the ball for the Aztecs. Here's Romeo Dubs. That are working on its second series, and it's second down and nine for Carson Strong in the offense of the Wolfpack. He goes to the air, to the outside, and connects with Romeo Dubs. Boy, did he. He was, he was Carson Strong's main target here. Just as a simple fade route, doesn't get over the top. He was targeted almost 16 times. First first down for the Wolfpack. After that 19-yard pickup, they go to the ground of Devontae Lee, and he is going to be swallowed up at the 48-yard line of Nevada. Without a doubt, this is the best defense that Nevada has faced this year. They're 5-4, and four, trying to get bowl eligible for the second straight year. They swing it out to Toa Tawa. They're running back, and there's Tizino again. In San Diego, here are Clay Matvick and Ryan Leaf, and welcome back to Goal Line to our friends on ESPN News. That's tipped at the line, and it's going to land incomplete. You can see by some of those numbers, pretty impressive this year. Certainly good enough to end up representing the group of five in the Cotton Bowl this year if things go well. Penalty flags on the field after that 38-yard punt. Thrown three all year. This is Agnew taking off, and he's going to be bumped at the 10 and get ahead to about the 13-yard line. We thought it would be the other way around, but... They found something a week ago against the University of New Mexico, and it's it's showing out again here in San Diego. Romeo Dubs splits two defenders on this punt return and gets into plus territory, and he's escorted out inside the 40-yard line. Looks like he just had a few words here for the official. Parker Houston, a senior. And... Jay Norvell assuming play calling duties last week. Let's see what he draws up. It's a slant and it's broken up. Knocked away by Luke Barku. 14 of 16 and might be Nevada's MVP. Has won a couple of games. He's been very steady despite being a true freshman. Wonderful job coming out of the backfield and understanding not being able to block until the pass had been completed. Jasmine behind Isaac Lassard found a little wiggle room on the right side, and that's going to be a first down for the Aztecs. Try to control the possessions. We're going to try to control the clock. And they're going to get another first down here on the pass play. I can imagine there'll be some more this week. Oh, yeah. Two of the top four teams getting beat today. Alabama and Penn State. Agnew off balance man wide open caught at the 39 by Bellinger the big tight end from Vegas and that's the explosive play that Jeff Horton is looking for Jeff Horton talked about it. he does some of the best things when he's able to escape here he gets outside Bellinger gets his arm up in the air and he puts it right on the money and he drags both the kids of veterans we appreciate them very much Agnew on third down. They're going to convert as he gets it to Parker Houston, his tight end. It's first down and goal to go. Shows you exactly why he is that. Jet sweep. Trying to find room on the edge. 
Edge and not going to get to the end zone. And leverage on that outside corner. Matt Ariza comes on. The left-footed redshirt freshman. 14 of 16 on the year. Chip shot. 21-yarder to tie the score. Power five opponents. Really special. Excited to see them again next week. Deep shot. Fossum with the catch. And he takes a pummeling as he crosses midfield. And this might be a targeting foul. Walking around. That is good to see. Here's another look at the play. Carson Strong does a pretty good job with his eyes at the beginning. What a throw. What a catch. And then Trenton Thompson just unloads on a defenseless receiver. Like we said, forcible contact to the neck or head area. It looks like it fits that criteria. Yeah, his head, his head hits Kalen Fossum's head. Trenton Thompson coming off his best game of his career at UNLV a couple weeks ago. 12 tackles and a blocked punt in the end zone that was recovered for a touchdown. And he is in jeopardy of being ejected from this football game. Now the replay review process for targeting has changed a bit. Here comes some pressure. Blitz picked up. Strong slides past it. Gets it downfield to Dubs and he's out of bounds at the 15 yard line. Another catch for Romeo Dubs. Do you hear Clay? This is special. Watch him get his head in there and make that block and save it. Carson Strong steps up and finds his, his go-to guy here the last two weeks. Romeo Dubs. Lee, nowhere to go. He was trying to flank that defense, but the defense got to him in a hurry. And that's a loss on the play. What he does here on second down and 13. Wants to throw it. Strong, feeling some pressure. And it's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the nine-yard line by Darren Hall. Air pistol staple where they run a mesh route here. He gets to his fourth target. As a quarterback, I hate tip footballs. Interception. San Diego State trying to take advantage of the Nevada turnover. They've been in the red zone twice, but only three points to show for it. And another good stop by Gabriel Sewell. I'll tell you, number seven is having himself a game here tonight for the pack. San Diego State Aztec defense and the way they stopped the running game. They go back to Juwan here. Washington is knocked down. Another loss. And that is Dom Peterson. I'm not going to question Rocky Long. And I'm not going to question Jay Norvell. These are two really good coaches here tonight. Romeo Dubs able to work his way to the 50-yard line on that punt return. Oklahoma and Texas trying to convert on third down. Pressure. Strong got rid of it. No gain. Roberson, the tight end, going to be dumped in the conference title game again this year. Boise State is leading the mountain. San Diego State leading the west. Agnew is on his back at the 19-yard line. He is sacked by Sam Hammond. Aztec backfield almost the entire game so far. And he's the 16th sack allowed by the offensive line for San Diego State, but they pick up a first down on the very next play. Down the seam, the tight end, Parker Houston. Parker Houston leads the team in shampoo use. The Sparks Nevada native. This is Jesse Matthews. He's going to get out at about the 47-yard line of Nevada. He's uh, the winningest coach in the history of the Mountain West. Rocky Long as Jasmine finds a hole on the right side. First down Aztecs out to the 35-yard line. Parker Houston and Daniel Bellinger, two very capable tight ends. Throwing Agnew. And that is caught at the 24-yard line. Another first down. This time it's Isaiah Richardson. Sam Hammond with another tackle for the Nevada defense. Here's the ninth play of the San Diego State drive. Throw is caught at the 15, but I think it's going to be marked short of the line to gain by Ethan Data. Explosive and dynamic when he gets outside the pocket and receivers get lost in that zone coverage. And Ethan Dado just comes back to the football, makes a great catch. They've Trying dominated. On fourth. Yeah, they've dominated this football game, and points are a premium. And they got it. First down, San Diego State. 
leaping over everybody is Chase Jasmine. And he'll keep the drive alive. Eye formation. And he just steps right over the top and leaps for the first down. Still a very dangerous running back. Empty backfield for Agnew. He's looking for Jasmine, and it's underthrown and intercepted. A rare pick thrown by the senior Ryan Agnew, and Nevada will take over. First down. This is all on Agnew here. If you watch, he looks at the running back the whole way, and Daniel Brown does nothing but follow his eyes and is right there to intercept the football and end a huge scoring opportunity. Koatawa up for a... A third and real manageable. Devontae Lee on the Wildcat, and I think he got it. I think that's what they're trying to do here with these short passes to the outside. Here in the second half, it's Romeo Dubs, and that's going to be a first down reception out close to the midfield line. And these guys have been around the game a long time. And that's going to be a first down reception for Toa Tata. To Backfield, excuse me, that was uh, Putman. With one of their inside receivers here. Pressuring that zone. Looks like they're going to bring some pressure. He does go to the slant. And it is going to be very close for Putman, who makes his second catch. As a receiver, it's Devontae Lee again on the Wildcat. And he makes a nice move in the backfield to get into the secondary. And he moves the pile to the 20-yard line. And down to the 18, Devontae Lee. Against New Mexico. Missed the first month recovering from an ACL. As we see another flag fly. Hutman doing the tightrope back down the near sideline. We'll see if this one's coming back. He probably gets an interference call with Darren Hall running through him. Hall had an interception in the first half. Here is Lee. And on third down, I don't know. Did he get it? It's going to be really, really close. You don't want to snap it into the shotgun. Well, when you've got Devontae Lee, who's just a bulldozer, it tends to work out more often than not. First down goal to go. Here's Carson Strong throwing to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Wolfpack get in the end zone for the first time tonight, and it's Elijah Cooks with his sixth touchdown grab of the year. Hot tonight with San Diego State, and they must have seen that they run a man beater here. Just a post over the top, clearing it out with two crossers. And trying to keep their winning streak alive. It's at four games right now, trying to get a step closer to a West Division title. A win for Nevada, they're bowl eligible. Good return for Jordan Bird. College football playoff committee. It's going to be good on Tuesday night. A big shakeup at the top this week. That pass is complete. First down, but another marker on the field is Kobe Smith. Didn't get a great spot there. I thought he had enough. It's Jasmine again. This is a first down as he gets it inside the 40. Looking to throw on second down. Agnew comes to the near side, and it is complete. That is a first down catch for Kobe Smith. When you have a safety that leads the team in tackles, that means he gets in and mixes it up. Tenth play of the series. Bell, and he's going to be stopped short. And another fourth down coming up. They're going to go for it. And that sure looks like a first down. It is. Again, Bell bounces off a tackler. And he spun away trying to get to the outside. He was brought down by Lee and Williams. Only two possessions so far this half. One by Nevada, one by San Diego State. The third quarter is almost done. Bell off the toss. Looking to the corner. He got there. Touchdown, Aztecs. Three-yard touchdown run for Chance Bell, his second rushing touchdown of the year, and the first touchdown of the night for San Diego State. Nevada needed to set the edge here, and Don Peterson tries to, but kind of gets in, held up a little bit, and then... I'm not sure exactly, but he is out of this game. So Nevada going back to work on offense. First down, Carson Strong steps up. He's going to run it now. On the hoof, trying to get to the first down, and he does... 
Out at the 36-yard line. Or blew by. First play of the fourth. It's Devontae Lee on third and short, and he didn't get there. Nevada stopped in another fourth down situation. Quinn Conaway to kick. This is his fourth punt tonight. And Bird calling for the fair catch. And San Diego State will have it at the eight-yard line. Agnew's got to be the guy that, that takes them the rest of the way. I really believe that. Agnew out of the gun. Washington sprinting out. And they find a receiver at the 15-yard line. Driven back. Really good position here. Heiklin. Very good kicker. His fifth punt tonight. And yeah, that's fair caught by Dubs at the 45-yard line. 2017 MLS Cups champs. Seattle and Toronto. That's tomorrow. All right, here's Nevada. They got and him. it's Elijah Cooks with a man deep. Caught it. Down to the five-yard line. It's Brendan O'Leary Orange on the catch. Little trick play. Catching them coming out of the timeout. They run a sweep with a total reverse. And Elijah Cook sets up and throws a bomb. Wonderful throw. Get it here. They're going to go for it on fourth down. But I got a one-on-one -on -one matchup out there with his big wide receiver. I'm going right to it. Nice cut. Lee, touchdown. Great move. Devontae Lee to change direction just enough to find a window to get in. And Devontae Lee capping a five-play, 55-yard drive. Watch him get skinny here. He slides forward and just leaps in for what will hopefully be the game winner for Jay Norvell and the Wolfpack. That's football yeah. team in the country. Can't argue that. Here's Agnew stepping up. Can they convert on third down? He gets it to Jasmine, who's running back, and he's not going to be close. About two and a half yards short. If they've got the lead, that's the most important thing. 17 to 10. Under 10 minutes to go. And this is Toa Tawa. He's going to be tripped up. Couldn't get out of an ankle tackle. Yet they've got the lead. Draw play. And not going to have enough. Tawa stacked up at about the 28. It's exactly what Rocky Long needed. A defensive stop, three and out, get the football back. That's what you said at halftime, Nevada. Has to open it up a little bit in the passing game. Just haven't been able to do it. Jesse Matthews has some room to return this. And he'll get it to the 32 before he spun down. Yeah. And he's tied late. San Diego State can't afford a loss if they're going to get to the Cotton Bowl. And Agnew is going to be sacked. Big loss all night. That's his second sack. The ability of, of being able to rush both Dom Peterson and Sam Hammond. He just is relentless here. He's able to get his foot. Then Kyle Adams just comes flying in. A position right now where I don't know if they can get a first down from this far away. Third down and 18. Agnew has to slide up. He's going to try and run for it. He's got daylight. He's got the first down. Ryan Agnew. In so many sacks, but he's averaging about five yards per carry, and he got 19 on that run. This this can't happen. If you were a defensive coordinator, remember that play when this game is decided. Jasmine. That'd be another first down, two in succession. Senior out of Ladera Ranch, California. Throwing after the pump. Complete. Caught at the 33, still churning is Bell. If he's beat, you got to throw it, but I mean, they both made the right adjustment. Jesse Matthews just wasn't able to get it done. Agnew taking another throw downfield toward Busby, and that's broken up. That was nearly intercepted. So Ariza was set up from 44 yards out. He's got a long of 47 this year, well within his range. And right between the eyes, Matt Ariza. They need the 32-yard line. Strong. Hit. Sacked. Huge defensive play. It's Cam Thomas. 33 to go. But how about the rookie coming up with the big, biggest stop of the night for this defense? Yeah, all week long, he just kept popping up on film. Real smart for kicking that field goal and getting points. The very popular punter, Quentin Conaway from Edmond, Oklahoma. And a bad kick, but it's scooped up and brought back. He gets it done right there. Four receivers. 
Agnew trying to throw it downfield. Gets away from another sack. Got it away. Incomplete. Bell to the left of Agnew. Here comes the pressure. Downfield, and it's batted down, and Nevada is going to hold. What a huge win for this Wolfpack team and Jay Norvell. They get bowl eligible and really put San Diego State's West Division. One more take of the knee, and this one will be in the books. This is the first win in San Diego for the Wolfpack of Nevada since 1946. Spot for a bowl, which is not guaranteed necessarily at six. Not only get a bowl, right? We're talking about possibly winning the West with this victory tonight. They go to three and three, then put some one game behind the Aztecs right now. And if the Aztecs, with big games ahead of them, having to play Fresno State, go to Hawaii.